is um, to be presented by Maureen Warner Lewis from the University of the West Indies in Mona, Jamaica. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh -huh. And I wish to thank the faculty at the University of Florida for inviting me back here. I was here in 1890 on Fulbright, and it's good to be back. <coughs> Uh, the Congo impact on Caribbean culture. Uh, according to recent estimates, Central Africa yielded 44.2% of the total slave exports over the almost four centuries of the transatlantic traffic. Almost five million people. That's according to David Evans. The presence of such a large number of people over such an extended period of time was bound to impact the lifestyles, worldviews, and cultural practices in the West Atlantic, where these immigrants were made to settle. One of the more obvious arenas of Congo influence has been in the sphere of music. This concerns the introduction of several musical instruments various musical rhythms, and the organizational structure of certain lyrical styles. Among the musical instruments peculiar to Central Africa is the use of drums which are sat upon rather than those placed between the knees or suspended from the neck or carried on the head. One may note that ntambu or tambu is a Kikongo word for drum, and this word has been borrowed into French, so I think yeah. <laughs> the playing style for the drum as seat means that in the sitting posture, the drum skin is beaten with the palm of both hands, while one heel depresses the drum skin to very tonal effect. Meanwhile, another player seated behind the drummer or crouched behind him knocks the open end of the drum with two alternating sticks to produce a sharp, steady rhythm. It sounds like a clatter. These are the kata drum um, sticks, kata sticks, as they are called in Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, and Cuba. The clattering of sticks and the elongated sound of wood pulled along wood was typical of Congo bakes in Trinidad. The rakes or broomsticks used in this exercise carry the Congo word kumbi, meaning rake. I will now show you the. Mm -hmm. um, this is a picture of drummers in Jamaica um, showing you them seated on their drums. Uh, you will notice where you can see the. the the heel of the drummer on this, this bump. The drummer on that side has his heel positioned ready to depress the skin on that uh, the drum head there. Uh, in, in another picture that I'm going to show you just now, the player of the kata stick is going to be seated behind this this drum here. The two drums used, one called Kibandu or Bandu, and the other one is a play cast. The, the Bandu gives a, a rhythm like a heart throb. So we'll hear that just now. Uh, this image here uh, is, um, and you'll hear the, the sound of the Kumina drums. Uh, Kumina is a uh, ancestral religion um, of the of uh, Congo descendants. They inhabit largely the eastern end of um, Jamaica. Uh, Komina, I think, comes from the word kamama, meaning to 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 do something as a duty. Uh, a memorial done as a duty. So let's hear the 
the drums now. The people who are dancing here are merely keeping time. I'll show you what the, the real Kumila dancing is like afterwards. Let's see what we get here. Yeah. No. Ah, this is, oh no, what's happening? Somebody come and help me. <laughs> uh, uh, can, can you carry it back? This, this is what drum known as kinfiti in Cuba, a word which associates it with Kikomo words for death, and indeed it is used in funeral, funeral rites. One name for a Congo friction drum is dinguiti, an instrument associated with death and executions. A string fastened to a wooden rod is made to pass through the drum skin and into the middle of the drum. The player sits in front of the open end of the drum and after wetting his hand in water, pulls the rod towards him, creating a low, mournful reverberation. Such drums are used in Luango, as well as in Guyana, Venezuela, the Dominican Republic, and Cuba. So this is uh, a fiction drum which I photographed in Guyana, um, the northern part of South America. 
Yet another musical instrument which makes a grunting sound is the Kingwanda Ngwanda Ya Kikere. It is a glist idiom called zither, called by the tree from the Gold Coast name Benta. Um, it's called the Benta in Jamaica and Curacao, and in Venezuela it is called the Karangan. It is made of a long piece of bamboo from which a ribbon of skin is raised. Wooden bridges are wedged underneath the loose fiber, and an empty calabash with a hole is rubbed along it to produce a subtle low moan. This this is, the, this is the instrument here. So the, the players sit on either end. And this is a calabash gourd with a pole that is rubbed along that raised piece of bamboo. Um, what you call it? <laughs> um, and it, it gives a very low um, sound. An instrument with a tinkling sound, and which may be either a xylophone or a thumb piano, is the Congo Madiumba, a word which has morphed into Cuban rumba. The rhythms characteristic of this and other Central African instruments has given rise to some of the calypso rhythms of Trinidad, the Zouk of Martinique, and the Compa of Haiti. The drum rhythms of Trinidad's calendar or stick fight, which resembles the drum rhythms of Jamaica and Kumina, has also been one of the rhythmic influences in the evolution of Trinidad Calypso. Indeed, Cuba's Fernando Ortiz has traced the gradual replacement of African drum rhythms by various European musical instruments during the 19th century in the course of the creolization of Cuban dance music. Uh, and I may point out that the, the, the clave um, and the, the drums, the, the clave, which is a version of the kata that I spoke of earlier, and the drum music of the Congo has given its striking rhythmic flavor to Cuban popular musics. In tandem with its influence on Caribbean musical instrumentation and rhythms, Congo has given its imprint to dance styles. One of the most famous is the limbo. Um, which involves a dancer inching under a horizontal stick held by two supporters. It resembles the Nsundi Lungondunga. Um, and from a linguistic point of view, there is um, a link between the shape of limbo and lungo. A dance performed by an individual standing on two raised lateral poles is another dance called the Kalimbe, which is danced in some parts of Jamaica. Um, Dance with crossed legs and feet. No, no. let's talk about this. Um, uh, while the drums are playing, the, these two supporters move the bamboo rods back and forth, back and forth. And the dancer on top does a balancing act on top and sometimes skips from one pole to 